Hello. Uh, so, first of all, uh, my gorgeous wife and I want to thank you all for coming. Um, and uh, for those of you who have uh, been there from the start, they will know that it was a long road getting here. Uh, a lot of a lot of knockbacks until I finally wore Natalie down and she said yes. And here we are. I just like to say a massive thank you to my mum and dad and Richard for making me the man I am today. I'd uh, also like to thank Amanda for welcoming me into your family and just giving uh, love and support to uh, me and Natalie. And doesn't she look amazing today? In the presence of God and before this congregation, Ian and Natalie have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. What a wonderful day, what a marvellous occasion. Doesn't Natty look absolutely stunning today? Here, here. And Ian, what a dashingly handsome young fellow he is. It's been an absolute honour for me uh, for the past 30 years to be able to call Ian and Natalie dear and close friends. Uh, but for that reason, Natalie does not escape attention in my speech today. Over the years, she's taken on many roles, uh, from storyteller, teacher, peacekeeper, looking at you, Vanessa, uh, majorette, proofreader. She's been a taxi, she's been a good taxi. And of course, just a general annoyance, as all, all good sisters should be. Above all, but she's been incredibly caring, uh, and she's always had that instinct uh, with me and Vanessa when we were young. So it's no surprise that she later went on to become a primary school teacher. She might not have always been the sister that we wanted, but she was definitely the sister that we needed. This is a love many years in the making. Um, before their formal courtship began, four years and one month ago, you could often find Natalie hanging out on the street corner of Crowshot Avenue, just desperately hoping Ian would come by and pick her up and spend time in her company. Um, Natalie was very much the girl next door for Ian, um, and they spent 14 years building their friendship, uh, building a strong foundation uh, for what was to come. We all knew I think before they did, that we would get here one day. Um, it might have taken a bit longer than expected, um, but we, um, the important thing is that we're all here to celebrate these two beautiful people uh, becoming one. I'll close with a few words of advice for Ian, my new brother-in-law. As someone who had 26 years of experience on how to get on Natalie's nerves, there's a list of things you definitely shouldn't do. Uh, first one, call her Nat. She absolutely hates it. <laughs> Tell her football's just a game and Chelsea's a much better team to support. Finally, the worst one that you can do, I'm sure you found this out already, keep her up past 9.30pm. <laughs> That should be the, all, the, all the ammunition you need, but I wouldn't use it all at once because it's no secret that mum wants grandkids. Of course, all of this is in jest. Uh, it's really hard to poke fun at someone who's been such an exemplary sister, uh, someone that me and Vanessa have been able to look up to and confide to and be inspired by, um, even today. And with that said, I'd like to raise a toast. I forgot my glass. But I'll raise a virtual toast to the newlyweds, Natalie and Ian.
they bring out the best in each other. Ian gives Natalie confidence and laughter. Natalie makes sure Ian gets dressed properly. Um, she texted me earlier this week to say he went out in two different trainers. Uh, he actually didn't find his tie until about five minutes before we left to the church today. Um, he makes sure he eats properly, cleans properly. Uh, she's helped him on his numerous trips to A&E, one time holding his head together after he walked into a window frame and it was glued back together. Um, but Ian and Natalie are a wonderful, caring couple full of love um, who deserve all our best wishes, love and support. So I please ask you all uh, to raise a glass and to toast the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Thank you.